Hey guys, today's video is going to be another Poshmark Q&A. I am still in my jammies. <laughs> First of all, these jammies, oh my gosh, they're from Target. Uh, I don't remember the brand, but I'll link them down below, but they are the softest. The softest. Um, I have the matching pants. I'll show you guys the shirt. <laughs> you guys get to see my big belly. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it like there's a knot right here. And it's just so cute. Here's my huge ass. 31 week belly. Just want to share these with you guys because these are seriously so soft. Questions, Boshmark, Q&A, here we go. Hey Vanessa, hope you're doing great. Love, love, love your videos. I really appreciate your insight and your unflinching honesty. Thank you. Forgive this question as I'm so low tech, but how on earth do you use the photo room app? Do you edit the listing photos in photo room first and then post it onto the, onto the posh or just directly. I use my camera phone, so it's such a small block when taking a pic via the Posh app as opposed to a regular camera phone photo. Am I making sense? Kind regards, V. Basically, I just take the picture on my phone. I use my iPhone. I use the square setting um, because that's the automatic size of the Poshmark listing, so there's no cropping or anything done. Um, so yeah, so I take the picture and then I upload it into the Photo Room app and then it automatically, with like one tap, it automatically whites out the background. And then I upload it to Poshmark directly from my camera roll. It's super simple to use. Okay, next question. Hi, love your Q&A videos. They are so helpful for a, fair, for a fairly, I can't read. <sighs> breathe, I also cannot breathe. <sighs> Guys, this baby boy is so low, but I still cannot breathe. They are so helpful for a fairly new reseller like me. Question, do you know what the return policy is for mystery boxes sold on Poshmark? I recently bought an athletic clothing mystery box and I like two of the items, but the other three items had signs of wear and marks. Even though the listing said all, light, all the items would be in like new condition. I wanted to open a case, but since two of the items I liked were Lululemon, I decided to keep it. I'm just curious about what the return policy would be on mystery boxes for future purchases. Thanks. Okay. So, uh, I know that when you return a bundle, you have to return the whole bundle. I have had people tell me that um, Poshmark sometimes allows them to return parts of the bundle, but I've never experienced that. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Um, so yeah, so that's the deal with bundles. I would assume mystery boxes would be the same thing. Um, yeah, you don't know what you're getting, but if in the listing it stated that they were in like new condition and they weren't, that's misleading. So... I don't know. You might have a case, although you've you've decided to keep them. In the future, you might have a case, um, especially if it says the condition of them in the listing. That's why I stay away from mystery boxes on Poshmark because I feel like a lot of people are shady when it comes to selling mystery boxes and misleading, like your experience, and it's just not worth it. Okay, next question. Hi Vanessa, love your YouTube videos. How do you do the shipping on a large bundle. I am about to ask the person to make two bundles as the next pound cost as much as another five pound for a separate bundle. I don't wanna pay shipping as I'm giving things away at five for 25 suggestions, please. Thank you. So I've sold some pretty large bundles. My biggest bundle that I sold was 26 things. I've sold a bundle of 25 things. I've sold a bundle of like 18 things, 15 things. I've sold large bundles. The way that I've gone about it, and I don't know if everyone is able to do this because I've mentioned this in a previous video and some people are like, my post office won't let me do that. So. This is just what works for me, I guess. Um, I upgrade the shipping label to the heaviest label, which is 10 pounds, and then I just pay the extra at the post office. Like I said, people have told me in comments that they've tried doing that and their post office wouldn't let them. So what you can do that will work 100%, I know, is what you said, split it up into two different bundles. So um, maybe check with your post office first and see if you're able to pay the difference. Um, and then just kind of go from there. I'm actually gonna reply to your comment right now because you sent this to me yesterday. Okay, next question, have you ever sold to anyone famous? I don't think so. I don't know. I know a lot of like famous people do have Poshmark closets. Um, I have seen like in Facebook groups where people have sold clothes to like um, movie sets or like TV sets, which is really cool. I don't think that I've personally sold to anyone famous. I mean, I don't like <laughs> Google the people that uh, buy from me. You know, like obviously I look at the labels and I see the names and stuff, but I don't like, I, I, I don't think I would know if everyone that I sold to is famous, you know, cause like maybe they could use a fake name and uh, yeah. so to answer your question to my knowledge, no. Okay, and the last question. <sighs> Hi Vanessa, love your videos so much. Here's an update on the Free People Poshmark closet. So before I go into it, I mentioned in a previous video that um, 
Free People had a Poshmark closet. We weren't sure if it was actually run by Free People or if it was just run by employees. Um, somebody posted a screenshot on Instagram of an email from Free People saying that it was just run by two employees. It wasn't an official store. And then Poshmark came out and said that it was an official store. And I guess this person has an update. I've been seeing stuff on Instagram. It said, here's an update on the Free People Poshmark closet. It is run by the brand. They get to use their own shipping labels, but claim that they are still under the same financial obligations as other users, like paying the 20% fee. What are your thoughts on this? I asked you guys on Instagram last night and I'll actually tell you guys like some of the responses that I got. Um, but honestly, for me personally, I don't care. I can definitely see both sides, but I personally just, I, I don't, I don't care. It's not worth getting upset about because Poshmark's not going to be like, oh, you're right. Actually, free people, buy Because free people's going to make them a shit ton of money. There are other brands that have closets too now, supposedly. Um, Levi's, Anthropology, Old Navy. I don't really think there's anything we can do about it. Like, yes, we can revolt and say, no, Poshmark, don't do this. But Poshmark's just going to be like, okay. You know, like they're, they want to make money. At the end of the day, they're a business. They want to make money. And they know that bringing these brands on will make them money. As far as them using their own shipping labels, I don't, I don't know. And as far as them having to pay the 20% fee, I don't know. I mean, it's not really worth my time to worry about or to get mad about because I really feel like it's not, Poshmark's not going to do anything. Again, they want to make money. They know these brands are going to make them money. Does it suck for resellers? Absolutely. Yes. Because I looked at the free people closet and they're actually selling things for a really good price. So um, yeah, it does suck for, you know, people that sell that brand. I personally have a hard time selling free people. Um, I have things that just sit for me. It honestly sells like shit. Like I recently did a video, I think like a month or two now, where I purchased a bunch of free people uh, bras. And I've sold like a couple of them. They've just been sitting. And then I looked in their closet and they have the bras listed for like half the price that I had them listed for. So I dropped the prices last night actually and I sold four of them last night. I'm still making a profit, yes, but you know, not as much as I would have hoped. <laughs> yes, it definitely does suck. I see both sides of it, but I'm not gonna get worked up about it because it's just not worth my time, honestly. Um, but I will read you guys some of the comments that you guys... Uh left me because a bunch of you guys <laughs> replied back to my uh, Instagram thing. What are your thoughts on brands having official Poshmark closets, free people, anthro, blah, 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 does it bother you? And these are the responses. No, no, kind of weird. Nope. I don't understand the point. Yes, leave the reselling to the little people. Nope. It's part of the game. And if you can't adapt, then um, not fair. Yes. How can we compete with that? Yes, no, no. If they follow the terms of service, I don't care, but Free People account is already breaking terms of service by shipping outside of Posh. I hope people ask them to donate items to them as well. <laughs> See what happens. Um, this person said, I have the margins to ask a lower price than Free People is asking. Seems like they can push small resellers out eventually. Um, it does bother me. Poshmark has quickly forgotten about the sellers, both big and small, in so many ways. I agree. I mean, they they want to make money. They're a business. They want to make money. Um, this person said, I'd like to know who's sharing their closet. Yeah, that's that's a good question. Um, this person said, I'm thinking Posh will more than likely side with them in a return claim, which isn't fair. I've seen new with tag items returns being sided with the buyer. Um, this person said only because they're getting perks that the rest of us are not getting, which again goes back to the um, being able to ship on their own. Like I guess they can use um, UPS and FedEx. Yes, it bothers me. I don't care if they have closets. It pisses me off that they get special treatment. Depending on what they sell and the price, it could mess up selling for everyone. Um, a certain said, I'm sure they don't pay the 20% and they use their own shipping. Not fair at all. Definitely bothers me. Um, this person said, nope, they might have access to those brands, but not for free. We find them a lot cheaper, which is a good point. Okay, so it's kind of like, well, I feel like the majority of people are pissed. Um, but again, me personally, I'm just gonna, you know, whatever. It's really not worth revolting against because I don't think Poshmark is going to be like, okay, free people, we got our resellers that don't even make up the majority of the people on Poshmark. Let's be real. The majority of the people on Poshmark are like either regular buyers or um, just people selling stuff randomly out of their own closet. The majority of people on Poshmark, let me repeat that again, the majority of people on Poshmark are not resellers. So 
Poshmark's not going to cater to us, unfortunately. Does it suck? Is it frustrating? Absolutely, yes. But it's not worth, you know, like getting all stressed out and pissed off about. It's just... Just gotta roll with it. So that is it for this video. I hope you answered your questions. If you have any other questions, you can comment down below. Send me a DM on Instagram or tweet me on Twitter. If you're new to Poshmark and you wanna sign up, you can use my code. It is keeping it rad. You get a $10 credit and I also get a $10 credit. So thank you. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video.